mwamba uwe nye imara kwa koni tajificha maji ha yona damu yaliyo toka humu hunisa finadambi hunifa nyamshindi thankful for this time that God has given unto us and also I'm really thankful to God who has been protecting us and also has been guiding us throughout this time that people are living in fear and also people are living in worries and despair I'm thankful because continually wherever we look upon the Word of God the Word of God is continually giving us the strength and also the Word of God is working inside our heart so today, I would like to share with you from the book of Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 up to 3. The Bible says, Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee. And make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that cast thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So, uh, we have read this book of Genesis, chapter 12, verses 1 up to 3. We realize that in this part, God is calling Abraham. Now, when God called Abraham in verses 1, after the calling of Abraham, God is separating Abraham. After God had separated Abraham, God is telling Abraham the purpose why he called him. So, the most important thing in this book where we have read today, what was the purpose of God called Abraham? Because if Abraham would have lived, after he had been called by God, if you would have lived the life that he don't know the purpose of God and why God called him, then he would have been the most miserable person in the world. But for him to have hope, also for him to have the strength in God, he must know the purpose why God has called him. So in verses 2, we can see clearly the word of 
of God in verses 2. So, in these verses 2, there is a clear word of God. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. So, in this part, when we think about verses 2, we can see clearly that there is the purpose of God. That is the reason why God called Abraham. And the reason why he called Abraham, he saying to him, I will make thee great nation. I will make thee great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. So he's explaining to him. So whenever Abraham could live his life in the land of Canaan, although there are many challenges in the land of Canaan, there are many problems in the land of Canaan. But Abraham could continually look upon the word of God. And whenever Abraham could look upon the word of God, then he could see clearly the heart of God. And this is the word of God. This is the word that God has spoken to me. And God has said to me, he will make me a great nation. He will bless me. You know, I will make of thee a great nation. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. So he could see clearly, God was promised me that he will bless me. He will make me a great nation. He will make my name great. Then during that time, although yes, he was 75 years old, and also Sarah, his wife, was 65, 60, 65 years, during that time, they could have the comfort inside their heart, knowing that uh, God was promised, God was, God was called us, God who has spoken unto us, he has the purpose upon our life. Then who is the most miserable person? Yes, I'm speaking to those people who are already inside Jesus Christ. I'm speaking to the people who are professing that they know Jesus Christ. Sometimes many people are living inside Jesus Christ, but they are so miserable inside their heart. Why are they so most miserable? They are miserable because they don't have hope. And whenever they don't have the hope, they are starting to worry about their future. How will their future be? How will they be in the future? They are so much worrying about their future. Then why are they worrying about their future? Because they have never thought about the hope of their calling. They have never thought about God who called them. What is the hope of God calling them? Yes, when God called us, he had a purpose with us. And the purpose we can see clearly, the time that he called Abraham, the calling of Abraham is our calling. Why? In the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verses 9, the Bible says that we are the people who also received the same blessings Abraham receives. In the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verses 9, Galatians chapter 3, verses 9, the Bible says like this, so, so then they which be of faith, faith Abraham, that they be of faith, they are blessed with who? With blessed Abraham. Then we are the people who are the partakers in the blessings of Abraham. So as God promised Abraham, I will make you a great nation. I will bless you. I will make your name great. Then God continued telling Abraham to give him the assurance. He said to him, those people are cursing you, I will curse. And those people are blessing you, I will bless. And you will be a blessing. You know, during this time when God was speaking to Abraham, when Abraham received the heart of God, and when Abraham embraced that heart of God inside his heart, and when his heart connected with that heart of God, Abraham could come out of his kindred. Abraham could come out of his country. Abraham could come out of his family. And Abraham could start going to the nations, to the country that he didn't know. With what hope? With the hope that God had already given unto him. So God gave us his, God gave us his word. And God is continually giving us his word. So God gave us the Bible. Why God gave us the Bible? He gave us the Bible so that through the Bible, we can know the heart of God. We can know the will of God. We can know the purpose of God toward us. What is the purpose of God? What does God 
plan for us. Because in each and everything in our life, that is the purpose of God. So the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4, the Bible says like this. Even before, he chose us before the foundation of the world. So even before the foundation of the world, God had already chosen you. Even before the foundation of the world, God had already chosen us. Then why did he choose us from the foundation before the foundation of the world? The Bible says clearly that he predestinated us. So those who he predestinated, he called. And those who he called, he justifies. So God called us so that he can justify us. Because he there, how he is our justifier. Then once we are the one who is justified, once we are the one who has been made righteous and holy, through who? Through the work of Jesus Christ, already there is the purpose of God upon your life. Already there is the will of God upon your life. Then what should you know and what should you learn? You should know the purpose of God. You should know the heart of God towards you and you should know the hope of his calling towards you. Once you know this, then you will have hope inside your heart and also you will have peace inside your heart. And how can you know it? Through the word of God. Through the promise of God. Embrace the word of God. Receive the heart of God. Live with the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God is the heart of God. It is the word of God. And you will continue seeing the word of God upon your life. So I'm really thankful and next time, God bless you.